We're entering that time of the year when uh, the calving season for many Oklahoma farms and ranches is beginning or maybe already underway. While we're checking those cows and heifers uh, this spring, the chances are that we'll run into a situation that requires some extra special attention. And what I'm referring to is when we uh, examine a cow or heifer and find that the hind feet are coming first and not the front feet and the head as uh, we would expect in, in most presentations during uh, the delivery process. Research out of Montana a number of years ago with over 13,000 head of cows over a 15 year period of time uh, illustrated that we would expect about 1.6% of the calves born to come backwards. Another 0.6%, very small percentage, would actually be what we call a breech birth. That's when the, the calf is coming backwards, but the feet are not presented, only the buttocks and the tail. And in this situation, I just uh, would recommend that you call your local veterinarian and seek help as soon as possible because that breech birth will not be uh, born uh, either naturally or with your assistance. Probably is going to result in a C-section as the only way that they will be delivered. But back to the backwards calf, that's one that yes, we, we can deliver, but we need to understand the uh, physiology and the anatomy of the cow and, and the calf uh, as that calf is going through the birth canal. Take a look at this particular illustration that shows a backwards calf uh, and note the position of such things as the tail head of the calf and the umbilical vessels or the umbilical cord. Now, when that backwards calf has gone far enough through the birth canal or with your assistance gone far enough through to where you can see the tail head actually appearing out in the world, the tail head of that baby calf, note where the umbilical vessels will be. They will be underneath that calf, pinched off by the pelvic rim, at least partially and in a lot of cases may be completely clamped off. Researchers in Europe a number of years ago decided to find out how long that umbilical cord can be clamped before it really compromises the health of the calf. And the outcome was that at four minutes complete clamping off, they lost one out of five calves. If, the clamp, if it was clamped off longer than that, they lost all of the calves. Then as we work with that backwards calf, and bring those hips through the pelvic opening and the tail head appears, realize we've got four minutes or less in order to get that baby calf completely delivered and started breathing. So that's why it's very, very important to understand the anatomy of the calf and the cow. When that tail head appears, we want to get that calf completely delivered as quickly as possible find a, a stiff straw, stick in his nose, clean out that area around the mouth and the nose, and get that calf started breathing as soon as possible. That way we'll have a better chance of saving any backwards calves that we might have this year. And as always, as we're talking about calving, I'd encourage you to go to the uh, SUNUP website. That's sunup.okstate.edu. Look under show links. And there's a link there to our pamphlet called Calving Time Management for Beef Cows and Heifers. Got a lot of information about working with these cows and heifers at calving time. And we look forward to visiting with you next week on SUNUP's Cow-Calf Corner. <music>